Thank you, Allie. Did you give your dog a good pat for me? Aria, right? Is your dog's name? Oh, right, we get to look at our choices. I love this. I love this in games. And they're like, here, look back and regret everything you did. Okay. Um, Tyler felt relied on when Allison chose uh, his memory at the house. I chose Allison's memory. Tyler felt heard about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. We definitely, oh, so we did the, we did the red one. Okay. So this time we're mostly in the majority. Oh, wow. Yeah. We did forgive Eddie. Yep. <laughs> she got a pat, but she's also trying to eat your pizza. You know, Harvey has been, um, he, he's usually not, um, very like food he doesn't usually go for for my food but the other day i had some pork chops and i'd cut off the the fat on the edge and um harvey like when i wasn't looking he came up and he grabbed the piece of fat off of my plate and like started running off with it i was like whoa it was like it was so out of character for him i was so surprised You've been buying the Daya frozen pizzas. Not spectacular, but they're pretty good for what they are. Yeah, I've had them a couple of times. Um, they're just expensive. Like, they're fine frozen pizzas, right? But it's like nine bucks for a frozen pizza. It just seems like a lot. Um, but yeah, if you're ever around Somerville, um, there's a great place called uh, Veggie, uh, Veggie Crust. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, Veggie Crust. And it's very good. It's worth the trip. That's for sure. Um, Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. We accepted Michael's compliment. Wow, 82% forgave Tessa. That seems like a huge margin. I'm surprised. I kind of thought that that would be more divided. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. All right, let's let's do it. Let's jump back in. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. Hmm. You got your stars, I'm glad to hear, Allie. I'm glad that worked because um... I've forgotten about the meteor shower that night. I, like, just didn't get to it. And so I just rolled my clock back 
uh, and just did it the next day and then skipped ahead. What? Who is that? This is new. Inner demons came out to play, yeah, Allie. Paladin, good good call on the dreaming. Don't nod is really good at nightmare sequences, clearly. Wow, I didn't want to talk over that at all. That was that was like that was pretty captivating. Wow. I guess yeah, we're going to be exploring some trauma and probably some PTSD in this chapter. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this game. I can't believe this got kind of like lukewarm reviews. I was, I'm really surprised. I'm impressed with this game, for sure. <laughs> Trauma's your fave, Allie. <laughs> Yeah, we've all got our fair share. <laughs> That's a good point. This really didn't get very much press. Like, I didn't hear about this game until a couple of days ago. No ads, no hype or anything. Yeah. Like, now I definitely want to check out the other one, the uh, Twin Mirror. I'm very curious about that one now. This will just turn into a dot nod, uh, don't nod streaming channel.
you'd heard about it, but um, hadn't played Life is Strange, so it didn't um, didn't pique your interest. That's tr good. Yeah. Al, you gotta play Life is Strange. You said you were gonna pick that up soon, right? Morning. I started collecting the documents you need for your rental application. Left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet Dee for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today. Uncle Eddie. P.S. My famous buckle up buckwheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. I want waffles. He's oh my right. God. Time to get my shit together. So is this the next day? I'm, I'm guessing this is the next day. Now would be a good time to stop smoking. It's on sale. Detox. I highly yeah. recommend it. Or, or even if you weren't going to play it right away, you should definitely get the remastered when that comes out. But that's not going to be for like, go from being so I don't know, six months or something. Total opposites. I gotta think about something else. I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. All the mirrors in this game work. I am shocked by that. <laughs> Good to know I look just as bad as Hyped I for the remaster. Yeah, I'm so excited for it. I'm not. I'm probably not going to stream it. I thought about it. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Okay, so I, I'm pretty confident that this is the next morning. Might wait for the remaster. I mean, either way. Um, I will say that, like, the face animations in this are pretty good. The face animations in Life is Strange are pretty garbage. Um, I could do my but laundry. it's it's all about the story, yeah. so I don't think it, it was a big deal, personally. Harvey, I just let you in. Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt... Unfair. I want to read this, but I also am worried about getting muted with the, having the music on for too long. Ah, oh, but there's so many notes. I'm so not That's the same one. Now. It's the same one. That's this one. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to stream, um, stream the new one the um true colors um i don't know if i'll stream the remastered or not it'll I, i'll have to wait and see how i feel um if i'm itching for something to stream then maybe i will but i think i prefer to to stream things that i haven't played before harvey i'm coming buddy let me try to go in here first all right Poor cat. He's truly suffering. There's a door closed. It's awful. The days have gotten so short. What am I thinking of streaming after this? Um, so when I'm done with this game, on the 30th, so on Tuesday, I'm going to stream uh, Shelter 3, which is, it launches on, on the 30th. The days have um, so short. And I miss the slopes. I'm very excited for that. Because I played Shelter 2 the I'm other day. So young here. And I'm just a fan of the series. So I'm going to play that. And then there were a couple other things on the docket. I'm probably going to play Twin Mirror. Since I'm into this so much. What um, and, uh, and then Subnautica. The Subnautica Below Zero is coming out. Probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. Interesting. It wouldn't let me... Uh, select that memory. It it um it vanished. But yeah, I've got a couple of things on the list that I'm excited about. Um, yeah, the one with the elephants, Shelter Three. Yeah. Last night, I should have talked to him about what happened, but 
What the hell was I supposed to say? He doesn't like this kind of attention, but really does so much for the community. You're thinking of streaming um, Life is Strange, right, Paladin? I remember you mentioning that. Dear Chief Brown, thank you so much for bringing our children home safe last weekend. Without you, they might have gotten behind the wheel, and who knows what could have happened to them or anyone else. We'll always be grateful for your wisdom. Thanks again for keeping this off the books. They are good kids who made a mistake, and Lord knows how a police record can compromise a child's future. We know they will remember your words for a long time, but please rest assured that we will do whatever we can to make sure they understand the extent of what could have occurred so they can raise awareness among their peers in the community. You've been wanting a replay? Nice. So many months of snow boots ahead. Yeah, right? Just like letting them off the hook for drunk driving. It's like... I always loved this one. I like that too. It's cool. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. I still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Love native art, so pretty, yeah. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. We should definitely call the number and, and prank call and see who it is. Is it Eddie's girlfriend? Does he have a girlfriend? It was kind of weird that we moved it, though. That was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. This is personal. My dear son, I know I'm not getting better this time, so I want to write a few things down for you. I'm sorry to be leaving you so soon. I had you late in my life, but I still thought uh, there would be more time. It makes me happy to know that you will have the clan when I'm gone, and you will have your auntie to look after you. You've always seemed to know when it was time to leave from time when you were a year old, you knew which shoe belongs on which foot, uh, and you and you used to bring me mine whenever I was getting ready to go somewhere. I could never figure out how you knew I was ready to leave, but there you'd be, with my shoes every time. You never cried or made a fuss, just helped me on my way. I hope leaving uh, will be just as easy, though I won't need you to fetch me my shoes. I know you'll help me on the way. Your strength has always been to accept what it is and to do what needs to be done. I'm so proud of you for joining the police force. People are going to look at you as a leader now, and I know you won't let them down. Please help the youngest. Uh, please help the young people remember our way of life. We have thrived as people since time before memory because our uh, because of our cultural values. Don't let them lose that. Also remember how important it is to attend to everyone, not just the ones who fit in. Uh, it is our way to lift each other up. Everyone has something to offer the community. They may not see it in themselves, so you've got to show them. Help them along the path you've always done. Remember, when you uplift others, it makes you stronger too. That's cool. Um, I remember reading that um, they consulted um, uh, uh, gotta people from these location. cultures of, I, I, I assume, Native American. A secret um, keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. 
What is it, though? Like, I can look in the Book Maybe of Goblins, but... Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Is, this a, is it a code? What's the... A secret keeper in her secret keep. I'm trying to find the button for the... Because it's not that. Is it this? Nope. Is it that? It's that one. There's a key. What's this? I see something about a key. Or a coin. Let's see if there's a coin around. Because it looks like there's a slot there. I haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. I didn't see any coins, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't give me the prompt until I had picked up the box. It might be in a different room, too. God, he better buy something new if he's actually got plans with this mysterious Claire person. Yeah, we're so snoopy. <laughs> Just going through everybody's drawers. and I really liked that they had that criticism in the Life is Strange games. I, I won't put, I won't go into any spoilers. Oh. Nope, it's not going to let me do it. Something's not right. What is this? I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. But yeah, um, bringing attention to Max, Max just being super nosy all the time. Anything right now. I really appreciated. Thought that was funny. What's Here's this? a file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? Oh, Allison is having a rough Fuck. time. Fuck. I gotta think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. I can't wait to travel again once COVID is over. Or at least once it's deemed safe, I guess. Eddie says there's a plant for every pain. Except heartache. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Allison just needs a break from all this. She needs to just get out of town and... Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Change of scenery. Anywhere. Oh, we got coins. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Ah, here's my ID. <sighs> this place is never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. Oh, man. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. Oh, shit. My clan deserves better. Was it Eddie the whole time? Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Well, uh, we'll come back. We're gonna go do that box. 
But if Eddie is suddenly a villain, I'm going to have some feelings. Mary Ann, what's going on with you? If you need help... She's imagining this. It's Come on, Austin. definitely possible. A secret keeper in her secret keeper. Insert coin. Record solved puzzle. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why it needed a coin. I did it. Yeah. You think she's just freaking out? I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But I, I feel like this has to be coming from somewhere, right? Like, I don't think she would just suddenly imagine that Eddie is the, the villain. Not down there. Uh, if it didn't come from somewhere, right? I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Uh, Allison, please. It's, been... it's nothing. This is nothing. Like, this to me is more reading, like, suppressed memories and suppressed emotions that she hasn't dealt with. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Aw, oh, Michael. Do you even get it? I like Michael so much. You swore, Allison. Still missing some things. If she's feeling like shit about her mom uh, killing her and lying about it, then it wouldn't be surprising. Yeah. It's a, you think it's a mix? Earlier they said they couldn't trust their thoughts. That's a good point. That's a good point. They did just communicate that to us. Plus some unresolved PTSD. Yeah. Seattle. Was the paperwork over here too? No, I didn't look at the card. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. I saw some paperwork in here. Nope. I want those waffles, though. To whom it may concern, in regard to our current rental application, I can confirm Miss Allison Ronan has employed has been employed at Venti Vetti Vecchi's General Store since June 2013 and is still currently working as an accounting assistant. This position entails data entry, processing, and record keeping. Earns a yearly salary of 24,000 plus bonuses. She has no disciplinary record. I, I know that this is in uh, Alaska, and I don't know what the minimum wage is there, but that that's not a lot. That is... That is a small salary. Are we sure there's no paperwork in here? The paperwork's not down there. All right, let's go back up. I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. Oh man. <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> this almost seems like all of the choices that we didn't pick. What the hell is wrong with me? Like all the memories where we chose the opposite 
choice. Those are the ones that are like coming back. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Uh, oh wait, was this the one that I was gonna read earlier and then didn't? Tyler, I know we haven't talked by phone in a while and I think it's mostly my fault. I'm so sorry. I've just been wrapped up in my own problems. Sometimes I forget that you aren't that far away. Senior year has been the worst ever. I dated this guy for a few months. Bobby, hopefully you don't remember him. Only to realize he was a total jerk and didn't give a shit about me. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Or why I let it take over my entire school year. I honestly feel so stupid. Oh, you're not stupid, Allison. But when I feel stupid... <laughs> but I also feel stupid for feeling stupid. Ah! Anyways, I think what I'm trying to say is uh, life sucks without you. I miss you. I miss your presence, and I miss talking uh, in our voice. Do you want to come to my graduation party next Friday? Nothing amazing. We'll just have dinner with Uncle Eddie and some neighbors. Tessa might swing by. I'd really love it if you were there. I realize now I could just call and invite you. I don't know why I'm writing a letter, but maybe with all the time apart, I've forgotten how to communicate with you. I'm sorry. I hope we can get back to where we were someday soon. Love, Allison. Yeah, she has a lot of guilt. Um, for sure. Allie. Alright, we got the paperwork, so let's go back down. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? It's probably downstairs. Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. Matt Hunter! All, uh, all those buried it down it's all coming up yeah I wouldn't be surprised Oh, no problem, Paladin. I still, I still got what you're saying. What the? I... No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. I do also think it's, it's totally valid that all this is coming up for her now, because I know, like, I had some some stuff that I didn't like personally deal with until like years after the fact. So I, I see validity there. Oh, it's under the, it's under the book. Not I here. see it. I see it. Search. What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. <laughs> anyways, Same. I have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. Get it together, Allison. Come on. Whenever I'm watching uh, Mark's stream um, and head out. in the or afternoon, and he's nice like, oh, hey, how are you? Uh, I always want to say tired. 
And I have to, like, fight not to. Just, like, every single day. Just be like, I'm so tired. I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. Still pretty good. What could we possibly make for D? I've got enough time to carve something for D. We have enough time to carve something? Hell yeah. Is that where all of those little figures are from? They're what Allison has been making? I hope it's a deer. I loved wood carving when I was in school. I thought it was so fun. Remember I had like a wood shop class in uh in like middle school actually. <laughs> of course I took a wood carving class. It was in middle school, it was a required class. <laughs> Everyone took it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like that. And let's let's be clear, I didn't make anything good. I made like a clock. And it was just like, you just drilled some holes. Um, it, it wasn't anything fancy. But it was fun. I enjoyed doing it. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. Yeah, it was, yeah, required class. It was, um, it was, it was really cool. There was another class I came here. that I took. It was like a drafting Eddie class. So there was like so wood much. shop and drafting. And, and in, um... In your first year of middle school, you took woodshop, and then you took drafting afterwards. Or, or maybe I had that flipped, but um, it was there was a, a strong emphasis on like trades in the schools that I went to. And then for high school, I went I went to a vocational high school. Um, so you kind of like were forced to try all the different things. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. This is a totally different life. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. I miss you, pup. Aw, puppy. You wanted to take wood shop at orchestra was at the same time? I didn't take any music classes. There you go, Allie. I am terrible at playing instruments. That is not my thing. Um, <laughs> I was forced to take a couple of classes, though, but I was just never good at it. Your school didn't have woodshop. I guess Eddie's that's pretty unusual as having a woodshop. <laughs> wow, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I I never said I was good at everything that I've tried. Let's be clear. I have just tried a lot of things. Played violin for eight years. I did one year of violin and my parents could not get me to practice. And so I just quit. <laughs> Allie, I'm still laughing. I'm still laughing at your comment. <laughs> Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. I'm freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? Uh, he's busy. We don't need to say we had a fight. No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. 
It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. She gets that. Yeah, I'm also obsessed with this guy. You, you loved orchestra, but didn't like practicing half the time either. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. It was this the guy that, um, about the fight with your uncle. that had the really keys that the house caretaker, whatever, housekeeper? He will. I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Or no, Hello, Tom's the shopkeeper. Care. He's... Yeah, 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 the shopkeeper. I'm so bad at keeping everybody straight. When did sorry Michael get here? you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Yeah, yeah, her boss. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I figured it out. Bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him. <laughs> this so is like Mamma Mia, but with help. trauma. <laughs> Which Tessa one is the dad? <laughs> Plus, a uh, door to door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah. I guess. Man, Tom being the dad, the, yeah, the boss being the dad, that is not a bad theory. Hey, you've been carving wood again? What? Oh, this. Yeah, I've been working on a gift for Dee. That's dope. Why do you get to be so crafty? I mean, I'm, I'm not that crafty. Marianne taught me most of it. Well, I'm impressed. These hands are good for nothing but cooking. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. Thought maybe the cop at first, but um, but he's not a dick as um, whereas Tom is. Oh. Yeah. It also makes sense for why Tess you was talk angry. About what happened with Tessa at the cemetery? Yeah, I do. We just asked her some questions. What kind of questions? Tough ones. Let me guess, she did not appreciate that. She reported Marianne to social services. She was trying to get us taken away. Fuck, I'm sorry, Allie. I knew she was nosy, but that's like some super villain shit. Hey, what's eating at you, Allie? Tyler and I had a fight. Yeah, last right. Night. I'm so I invested too. I was so too. excited to have him back, but what if ten years was too much, and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know, and then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot, and it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> yeah, I think you guys are right. I think it's Tom. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. I love Michael. Yeah, Michael is such a sweetie. Pretty cool, right? Deposits a bit high, but it's oh, yeah, they're looking for apartments and a view of the channel. <sighs> You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <sighs> oh, God, Allison, Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just, um, I need to, I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's 
What's going on? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna tell Michael about the memories. Of course we are. God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne, and me, and Tyler when we were kids, and, and Eddie, and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? I love him so much, and he also wants tail. He's like, I am so ready to help out Tyler and also get tail. And also just be like the best friend ever. Michael knows what's up. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh, shit. I'm going to be late for my lunch with D. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Michael, he's just so perfect. What a sweetheart. He like he just did everything right there. He like comforted her and he he told her that that everything's going to be okay, but she does she should explore avenues of getting help if she's able. She should put herself first. Oh, so good. That's how you know he's fictional fuck, Allie. Hey, hey beautiful. <laughs> no. You okay. Because now I'm gonna like cry. Shit. Now I'm gonna I, actually uh, cry. I haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girls' lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. 
You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. This is Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. God damn it. God damn it, Allie. It's a queer native man. You're thinking of cishet white men. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh... Uh, I want that food. Where's the food? Oh, this door was never opened before. I don't think. Yeah, this is all Morning. new. Hola, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously, very seriously. I can't take any. Is anyone ever going to clean these up? I want some cookies. Maybe we have been through here and I'm just not remembering. Oh yeah, no, I do remember because we were trying to get in here and um, I couldn't find the the combination before it moved on the plot. Yeah, right. I want, I want my my character to be able What's to enjoy going on treats. With me this morning, so fucking scary. Hmm. I love the smell of this soap. Cobbler party in the break room. Help yourself to some cobbler. You all right, kid? Yeah, just super tired. Just, just pacing. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. His mail slot? I mean, I guess. Not that mail slot. Is it upstairs? Mm -hmm. Heaters. I remember my um, a roommate I had a couple of years ago had a heater like this, and it it scared me so much mm. because I just was so afraid that it was gonna set the house on fire. This is not this guy's first ticket. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. What? We're gonna eavesdrop. Sounds like Eddie's busy. My uncle's in there. <sighs> He's really letting that guy have it. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... I need to drop this off in Eddie's mail slot. Okay. I want to know what he was doing. I should need drops, but I will, yeah. Um. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's going to be busy for a while. Alright. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. She's probably not going very far, though. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? Are you kidding? This is my third helping. <laughs> that would be me. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries, I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need to eat at the diner. I kinda called in sick, so Tessa's is out. 
I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. Oh, now I can take it. Hell yeah. Hmm, <laughs> dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in rust. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? All right. Question of the daytime. Do you prefer sweet or savory for like a, a special occasion breakfast? So like waffles or an omelet? What are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. <laughs> a cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike? Sweet. And the trouble these folks are causing for nice. everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. There's, um, there's a brunch place that I used to go to in the before times that has the best uh, waffles, that has, um, like a, a caramel sauce with walnuts and it was just like or, or it wasn't waffles it was french toast french toast is just hey, like my favorite huh. so what's the criminal underbelly of delos crossing been up to lately eh, poachers vandalism a few memorable cases of public indecency nothing too serious which is fine by me boring is good not like juno my daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> yeah, French toast is my favorite. Whew. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? An animal? Is it a raccoon? Hmm. An animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's a raccoon. Hell Dallas yeah. Dallas Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. What? We came oh, all the way it's here. Okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did Aww, I get so lucky? Sweet. Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, we'll just we'll own that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. 
the sweet smart yeah i thought that too when she like purpose. leaned in when she was sitting I up i was like wait what peace, but i gotta say it ate at him all day Um, uh, I don't need to talk about I'm this. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. Yeah, that that would be an interesting, an interesting little twist. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change. Even when Yeah, this guy's like really just, just... Look, not I'm letting really up. Tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him. Okay? I. What? I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, no, he was definitely being creepy and weird. There was something going on. Okay. Okay. Oh, Allison. It's gonna be okay. This will pass. Oh, wow. I just need to breathe in and out. Follow the circles. Just a little longer. This is so cool. Yeah, Paladin. I was thinking that too. Like, they really thought about this. Hold on. There we go. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. It's making the um, the trigger a little bit easier, also. Like it was really difficult at first to keep it in the circle, and then it got it got easier the further along. Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like, or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now, come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much she's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? Man, you guys, like, I feel anxious from that. That was... That was pretty moving. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I 
I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. Oh man, I feel so bad for her. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. Yeah, Allie, I, I feel here, you. It looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. I'm like, I'm like tense. I like need understand. to just stretch a little bit. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. It, this isn't, they're not really giving me, like, the impression that this would actually be telling him what really happened, but also the prompt makes me think that. Oh, you just popped everything. That took me a second. I was like, what are you talking about? And then I realized it was, like, stretching. Um, I'm gonna, fuck it, I'm gonna say that's not true. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. <laughs> you can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. All right, I'm not gonna answer this one. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys chime in first. Um, because damn, are we gonna are we gonna um, are we gonna let this out? Cause damn, that's <laughs> Ali. I assume I assume that means that that we're doing this top tier choice. Uh, Pyro, you just got back from food. You have missed a lot. <laughs> We're all crying over here. This is a lot. We just, um, Allison just had a panic attack and it act, the game actually has you walk through the panic attack and use a, an app on your phone to control your breathing. It was wild. I've never seen something like that. Um, I am so impressed with this game. I will say that if, if uh, jumping in later, um, if you're interested in this game, I highly recommend picking this up. Um, I am so impressed with this game. Um, you want to say yes, but you're also scared. Me too. Yeah, because this isn't Max. You're right, Paladin. We can't just go and rewind shit and see what happens and then redo it. Ah, oh, God. I'm like torn up about this. Fuck. I, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to take the more interesting option. Always kind of glad you missed that part it was hard it was it was pretty emotional for sure um right on cue we got the we got the content warning 
<laughs> auto uh, stream elements. All right, let's let's do it. Uncle, it was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. I killed my mother. <laughs> <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. But we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> Should have seen it. Right. He's way more chill about this than I expected, so, so I guess that's good. None of this was fair to you two. Oh man. I like. I keep like just instinctively smiling which i know is just like thank you uncle a response to just like i'm How feeling, feeling emotions ah you know but but like relieved actually and really tired dang i'm glad i'm glad we took that option she needed to get that off her chest i was remembering something i know like ellie that. I don't know I if know. it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. Also, Pyro, I, uh, did you did you get pizza? I'm very curious because it's pizza day in chat. Everyone's had pizza. All right. Um. I missed who he's referring to. Uh, let's start with how close was he to Marianne? How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. I assume they're talking about... Oh, it's Sam? Okay. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals... I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, 
your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. I can imagine that now, like, he is just going to go and have a panic attack over what he just learned. Because he, he, like, sent a kid to, uh, you know, like, a, um, a camp to, you know, instead of going to juvie and was, like, paying for it. And, like, he wouldn't have had to have gone through any of that. But then maybe Allison would have, I guess. I don't know. Okay. This whole situation is crazy you can do this this game is crazy also i was like kind of hoping the game would cut here and go to the house with um tyler and michael and we could just like play out that little love fantasy um i hope that comes later because i feel like i need that palette cleanser right now because this looks like it's gonna be heavy too <laughs> We'll see. Good. He's here. Okay. <sighs> this is pretty, though. I'd love to go to Alaska. I don't know, like, what I would do. Maybe just... Oh, I can lean. Perfect. It's just like the bench mechanic. Um. There's still time. Alright. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty to see. At the very least a landscape. What's up, Sam? Oh, Allie, I... Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Let's look around first. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh... Did you need something? I, um... I was just driving by and wanted to see how you were doing. I heard there was some trouble on the docks. There's always trouble on the docks. Do you, uh... Oh, sorry, I'm messing with my headset so much. Okay. Overdraft fees. your brother back at the house back at the house I guess <clears throat> so uh, what's he getting up to today who knows huh. All right. hey cuz I left uh, I left you my boat a month ago and far as I could tell the only work you done is test how much beer you can fit into it I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it but god damn it I need my boat Family is family, but get it done by this weekend or I'm reporting it's stolen. I know you're tired of, the, uh, of uh, brown on your ass. What did you say? Uh, how's the house coming along? Uh, slow. Slow. There's. Answer your goddamn do. phone. Of course. I mean, these are the whole life. Uh, lives in there. Real shame. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. 
What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but... Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Your mother gave that to me. Mm. Got... Impressive collection. If you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Oh, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's pretty. It's cool. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? I wonder if will it let me go upstairs? I guess so. What's up here? It probably won't let me go through this door. All right, it's time to talk. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Having some trouble? Can't get these nuts loose because my idiot cousin let them rust. I got a can of rust remover somewhere. If you come across it, pass it over, yeah? Oh, uh, sure. There you go. Would this help? Oh. WD-40? Thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's what? A, it's in a red can. A oh, red princess. can. Yeah, you tell him. Not a princess. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to, uh, dry out a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That sounds <laughs> sensible. That's a way to put it. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific. Our hold was full of the morning's cash. Started pulling in our nets when it got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and head it back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. Yeah, it was a can of WD-40, but he said that's not what he needs. Oh, damn it. What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. You want to tell me which which direction the cupboard is in? This one. Oh, that's there's the stuff he wants. All right. Can I grab that while I'm here? Nope. All right. I think I got some gauze in the cupboard next to the sink. Yeah, I got it. I got it, man. I also love bananas, so I um. My breakfast every morning, I do oats with a banana and cinnamon and nutmeg. And that's just like my go-to daily routine. Oof, that is going to get infected. Over there is my favorite direction. Yeah, yeah I agree, Are Pyro. You father? 
It's very descriptive. <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Straight out with it. I mean, why not? Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. All right, well, my first guess was wrong. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Mary Ann would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. Yeah, right, Paladin? He did. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. When was the last time you cracked a window? Uh, uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull. Ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... Long time ago. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Okay, so I've got, a, I learned a funny thing a couple of weeks ago. Uh, apparently, like, renting a container on a, um, on a container ship is, like, relatively inexpensive. Um, and so some people will rent them out and, like, furnish them and live in them. And so then they just, like, travel on these container ships as, like, I, I don't know if they do it, like, for a long time or just as as like a little adventure that you do for a little while or what but i thought that was wild and so when covid happened um all of those ships couldn't dock and so a lot of people were, were stranded on these boats and they couldn't get off the boat um and it was like a it was a huge conversation that like the chinese government was having with these cruise ships that like they just couldn't pull into port and they're like yeah but there's people here like it's a problem <laughs> it's not just goods hey, come have a look. yeah i'll get over there i'm telling a story which also reminds me there was another story that i was gonna tell um about the raccoons there was an npr story a couple of years back um, where raccoons were breaking into people's houses, um, and the, the animal control was having a really difficult time keeping up with the raccoons because they had learned how to 
get this panel off of the house um, that they could just like get straight in. Um, and because in this community, all of the houses were identical and they were all built using the same specs, the, the raccoons would just go to a house, break in, steal food, leave, and then just do the next house the next day. And they would just like go down the block and they could never catch them because they were always like a house ahead. <laughs> I love raccoons. <laughs> But I, I was going to tell that story, and then we had a panic attack, so it didn't seem appropriate. <laughs> if it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Why is there a burnt-up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. I uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Jeez, that's so scary. I threw away a pan today, actually. Oh god, that TV noise. Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. Ah, uh, said you're having some trouble. I got much. Uh, 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 stop. Oh god. Salmon casserole. I wonder if there are people hey, that like try all I'll I'll come in, Sam. I'm looking at all your stuff. I'm busy being nosy. Um well I guess binging with Babish does it where he like cooks all the recipes from stuff like this. But I wonder if he would do a game game like this. That'd be that'd be cool. I love binging with Babish. Do you guys plan out your meals like this? I do a little bit now. Now that I'm, like, on a, a more strict diet, I kind of have to plan my meals further in advance. I, I used to not at all. What's all this? Here. I, uh, kept a few things. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh-huh. She saved up for a whole year to make that happen. You tried and you can't. It's It, it kind of takes the fun out of cooking a little bit when it's all super planned, I think. Dear Sam, I'm writing from the hotel you recommended in downtown Juneau. And you were right, the kids love the whale mural. Our favorite was the raven mural at City Hall. Today we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. Kids wanted to hike the trail, but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see the glacier. Hope you're still hauling uh, hauling them in by the barrel load. By the barrel load, Marianne. I don't plan meals, but you plan your groceries. No, that makes sense. Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Yeah, I've started um, meal prepping more where I'll make just extra servings. And then have those for lunch I, uh, the next day. Well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Dear Sam, most bears only live 20 to 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here without you, so thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you uh, think the best part of your past has been erased, uh, but as long as you don't f forget. Uh, the Ang Angchok? Angkok rose will always be seaworthy. It might be... Uh, be a bit smaller in memory. It, it just might look a bit smaller in memory. 
I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend, Marianne. Yeah, you do that. You'll eat the leftovers for days if you can. Yeah, I try to like really portion everything out more. Uh, wait, I want the, I want the, uh, no, I want the, I want the boat. I need the boat. Look at these ones. Give me a second. I need Mother this. Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. I love it, but I want it. Please give it to me. It looks like it matches the rest of my set. Oh, I can't take it. What? All right. That's cute. Ah. <sighs> She looks happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Steal it. Uh, <laughs> That's that what we've been doing. License. <laughs> like, Mary remember at the store, we opened the cabinet and just they took the thing. Stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Al, are you really going to go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mom. It's, it's all I, it's all we got left. Sam's having a rough time with this. You can't just throw it away. It's not your decision to make, man. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. Yeah, I'm curious about this loft alley. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped and three different places. <laughs> it's stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, uh, she has have none of that. She got me up one morning and Drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. Gotta remember. Did he just pass out? Oh my god. That's so sad. God, that's so depressing. Oh my god. But he also said something that was like super on point about um uh you you can't let like the the worst parts of you be the the things that define you. Yeah, no, he was he was so drunk, yeah. Um I remember I remember one time someone told me that your anxiety is not a personality trait 
And that really stuck with me because I've always struggled with anxiety. That's been super hard for me. And um, having having someone like remind me of that was like, oh shit, you're right. Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Michael is just catching everybody today. He is here for us. Yeah, it's overwhelming, Paladin. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I <laughs> He's so perfect. <laughs> Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we going to go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's going to kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. Yeah, they're really cute. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. I really like his ear piercings, too. Like, I keep noticing that, and they're different on each ear. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Does anyone in chat fish? Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of hey, time funkiest, after you know, with school and the JC. You figured it out? Right. Her name is Allison because she's an ally to her. So did any of the people you came up uh, with? Are to her mother's son that was transitioning to a son. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Hmm. You haven't done it in a long, long time, but recently picked up your license, so you're gonna try again. Cool. Cool. I've never really tried fishing. It, I like, I think I tried it like once and I didn't catch anything and I got bored. And so I just like never gave another shot. Oh, I'm not on camera. I was turning the wrong way. That's okay. Um, but yeah, no, I, I like that theory. I like that theory, funkiest. Uh, do you prefer funkiest or punkiest or punk or any, any iteration? Um, fished once or twice, like 15 years ago. Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but... Race disappeared, I'm just I already have slowly family. just, well, uh... There's a reason sliding out of frame. <laughs> they keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. 
Every single game has a fishing mechanic. Why does every game have a fishing mechanic? <laughs> Wait, are we gonna like legitimately do fishing mechanic? Come on. Oh my around. god. <laughs> Now give it a nice pull. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <sighs> Slippery little. <sighs> got it. <laughs> Bravo. You secretly love the fishing mechanic There's even though you don't fish in real Finish life. Yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez. You don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. You got anything good in there? Maybe. But... Who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. All right, here we go. Yeah, it is a date. <sighs> this is the funniest shit in this whole game. <laughs> We got a fish. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. That's a lot of fish. So, about last <laughs> Those night, were big fish. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey. So don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. Hey, if, I mean, Pyro, if that will mean the successful end to this date, I will do that. I will stay here and fish for hours. I will do that for Michael. Uh, I pushed her too hard. Yeah. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I can't tell sometimes if, like, the sound of the wind is like from outside my apartment or if that's in my headphones um i'm not gonna say the second one because i expect ali is just gonna come clean at some point also i'm so used to saying ali in chat that now i'm just saying it in relation to allison because they've started calling her ali too i'm just <laughs> i just noticed i was doing that automatically um didn't really think about that I guess I didn't really think about that. I've We're been getting so all focused these on unison and like it's little notifications. Hard, I love it. You know, figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage, 
But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. So do you always drive around with an auger in your car? It's not how it looks, okay, I swear. I, I was already planning on going ice fishing with the family this weekend. I made a mistake of forgetting the auger one, so we had nothing on hand but an ice chisel. That'll scar a man for life. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't you say anything. I got this. Oh man, we got another fish! Whoa. You guys were Damn. so good at this. Three. Well played. <laughs> Tyler is a pro nothing. fisherman. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird? And I'm so ready for something weird. Answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, hey, Orc. That is a hard question. You're here just in time. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. And thank Look, you, Allie. <laughs> I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. You still want to risk it with me? Did they just scoot closer together? Was I- am I making that up? And you're still interested They're scooting in closer together! Oh my god, so and cute! All the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I- think it's worth the chance. Yeah, something happened to him in like 2011. And yeah, Orc, this game is unreal. This game is crazy. I am obsessed with it. I like, I wasn't planning on streaming um, too much because I kind of want to like save some for tomorrow, but I'm also just kind of like, fuck, I want to, I want to keep playing. Um, and they're just, they keep scooting next to each other. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, we're in total agreement. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she would. Or so, you got it. doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. The show is his face. Right? Oh my god. Oh, we're making a move. We're making a move, chat. We're doing it. You okay? Oh! Oh, 
that's so cute! <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy. Hey, garlic. I like that you came out of lurking just for this moment so we could all share it together. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. I needed that. After after Allison's little chapter there, I, I needed this. <sighs> So, uh, yeah. Yeah, is one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. <laughs> back to lurking, you know goodbye. <laughs> Sounds good, garlic. And we're right back to Allison. Alright, this game is like emotional roller coaster. They're like, we're gonna make you really happy and then really upset. It's just. Sorry for interrupting. No. It's totally fine. We were done anyway. Yeah, man, no recovery period or anything. Just right back to it. Okay. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but Caught yeah. Caught some dick. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. That's what Why these guys do. It's so honestly much. brilliant storytelling. I was waiting for that. <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of wearing me out. Can we sit down for a sec? I, like, need to come back to the serious tone. Oh, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. Arson's not his style. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a sand move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Della's Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. I've got it. I've got to know. My plan was at the end there, I was gonna gonna stop and kind of save the rest for tomorrow. I'm still kind of leaning towards that, because this is kind of like a nice cliffhanger moment. Oh, it's getting a little bit late. Oh, what a mess. oh I'm so tempted. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So, obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some. I know we're all st we're all so invested. I'll keep going. I want to know what's up there. Um, I'll protect you. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. Yeah. The only thing. So my my only consideration is I don't mind streaming for a while. Like I'm having a ton of fun with this. Right. Um, my only consideration is that it would kind of stink if we got another hour into it and then there was only one hour left and then we just, like, had one hour to play it tomorrow. Like, just trying to, like, space it out a little bit. I can't... Why can't I take this? Give me the ladder! Oh yeah, they said something was broken, so I have to get a drawstring, something like that. The handle should be behind this. I was listening. Whoa. Ah, oh, there it is. T 
totally hidden. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Yeah, there's a perfectly good ladder right here. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking cuz like even just playing the um the last uh hour of the the second chapter at the end here, it was like kind of weird getting back into where we left off. I feel like whenever there's an episodic thing like this, I should just always make the time to play the full chapter. Can you see anything? Nope. Not a Here, found a switch. <gasps> huh. Holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. Pretty dope attic, not gonna lie. It's her story. Look, she left us something. Yeah, so we've seen that that monster before, and it's we've seen it like in the memories, Do but we we don't know what it is. Somewhere in all this. Knowing Mary Ann, probably. Oh my god, more uh, codes. Okay. You wanna do this? <laughs> yeah. Let's start here. We'll find it. Alright. Let's take a look at what this is. Do you have any idea what the code might be? No. Symbols. So we should probably see if Mary Ann hid anything before we go trying to guess. Here. The secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. Oh shit! Yeah, this is all the in the forest collectibles. Obviously. There you go, stalwart moose. Dang! Did I miss that many? Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Oh, maybe there's just more that go over here? That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. That's so cool. I bet the monster is the dad since we always see him in the hood. I was thinking that also. Um, yeah, I, I think you're right. And yeah, I think this is really cool to like put the collectibles down. But I, it also makes me feel bad that I, I missed like five. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. Alright. Uh, that's how we got up here. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the mad hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Yeah, maybe. Oops. It's this one? Um, well, where to go? There it is. Oh man, there was a an audio prompt, but because I went past it. Hmm. 
Where'd it go? Oh, there's another one here. Okay, spot the differences. Gotcha, okay. Spot the differences. So we've got the princess and the... It moves. Oh, some of these parts are button. Wait. Interesting. That's what a second playthrough is for? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I can see myself playing this again and, like, doing a bunch of different... Like, what if I went completely for discourse and I specifically tried to pick the the things that would divide the siblings apart just just to see what that looks like that'd be really interesting yeah okay so here the princess is in the water uh the goblins are on the shore it says the goblins trick the mad hunter and then what about this one so it's just this one then okay so the princess is running away from the mad hunter who was sent by the gold lady according to the story do you think the gold lady could have been marianne's mom i mean she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family huh yeah you're right she ran away huh. no goblins yeah in the original the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter so we saved marianne from something not in this version? Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. The hands are different? The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah, at some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. So last we have the lotus flowers, the castle, the face, the tree, and the stars. The stars are the same. I think the face is the same. The tree looks the same. And what about the lotus flowers? There is one of oh, a castle. There's no castle. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother- That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Marianne, I can't do this anymore. You deserve better than cliche bullshit like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all been too much to deal with, and I'm real. I just, I've realized that I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with this, uh, maybe if we could have dealt with all of this on our own, without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things would have been different. But damage is done, and probably too late for that now. I'm sorry. You're an amazing person, and you made me a better mom, a better man. I hate myself for doing this, but I feel like we're both better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Here, um, here, but I'm gone, Brent. We haven't heard of Brent at this all. Has guy been any more cryptic? Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? It's a parrot. Y'all, I love parrots. I don't have one. I don't. I, I had one growing up. Like I had a. A cockatiel, uh, and I would never get a parrot again. But I love them you so much. You think the guy with her is Brent from the letter? I would guess so. That's why all my future emotes are gonna be parrots. Do you know she studied engineering? No. Maybe a cat too. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed, and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. I 
I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Oh, oh hey. Cool, that we are still getting some of these. So, did Mary Ann grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. All right, I'll be right there. I'm going to put this down. I think this goes on this side. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. Cool. All right, well, this makes me feel better about not having everything. That's nice. Here's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So... Maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. It's all related to what we found in there. So there was... There was the guy. There was the ballet. There was the bird. Hey, I can oh. move the piece next okay. to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos. Don't they? Well, some of them. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. Hmm. This one should be ballet. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Did it say which man it was? I don't I'm trying to remember what if he said what he did. Hmm. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Let's go check on what Brent said again. Whoops. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think... Painter. Okay. Something's not right. Maybe it's the... Seemed like... Like they said she came from money. So I guess she tried to change majors, but couldn't. Her parents probably wanted... Original major is more. engineering. Yeah. Okay. Marianne Ronan, the very definition of the word practical. So engineering is probably this one. Yeah, there we go. Is that it? It's opening. Oh, I just noticed. So that's the that's the first symbol and that's the second symbol. I didn't see that that's on in the this inside of the door. That's cool. father yeah marianne has had a had a childhood 1996 marianne i hope this letter finds you but since you didn't leave any contact information i will have to send it to your aunt and hope for the best i'm writing to inform you that your mother passed away last week we just had her funeral reception the house has been filled with people all day friends family colleagues and church members it's now 11 p.m and sitting alone in the on the, at the kitchen table, surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards. Your cousin, Audie, Audie? Uh, bought a beautiful photo album full of our holiday pictures from La, La Um You're there in all of them, but you weren't here today. We haven't heard from you in four years, 
and you can only um, and can only hope you made it to Alaska or wherever you are that you and your child are both safe. Wow, so she ran away and, and just never contacted anyone. Yeah, this is really wild. This just like it just keeps going. Uh, let me have some water. <sighs> Your mother had been sick and depressed for years, and you can imagine why. The pain of being shunned by her own daughter, knowing she would never get to see her grandchild grow up. It has spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock. After dropping out of college without a penny to your name, she only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child properly, Marianne. A mother's duty doesn't end when her ch children leave home. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children. It's about providing for them and shaping them into people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. This is so manipulative and bullshit. <laughs> this this is uh, selfish as fuck. Dad. Oh my god, on the third page. <laughs> just dad. <laughs> oh man. Dang. Why would you keep any of this? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Yeah, Tyler, really, I don't know if we need these people. I'm going to close the window really quick. Just uh, one second. BRB. Yeah, Paladin, I agree. Her parents were awful. Yeah, so, like, no kidding. Oh, man, I keep rolling over my cord for my headset. I'm gonna ruin this thing. Alright. Back to it. I didn't realize it's, it's raining where I am. I didn't even notice... Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. She only worked there for a month. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Uh, I think I missed wow. an interaction here. Sure. Oh, so that's how she found the house. Okay. This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. Let's do it. What's this? Hmm. 
some sort of map. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Kai Bear is raiding with a party of 18. Welcome in. Oh my gosh. Let me give you... Uh, Ali, would you mind giving a shout out? Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Bastina. Oh my gosh. Uh, we are on an emotional roller coaster with this game. Um, I don't I don't know if um, any of y'all have seen this game. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this um, in the chat really quick. Uh, this game deals with some pretty heavy uh, themes. Um, but it is absolutely astounding. I'm so into it. Um, and then anyone in my chat, please. Oh, Allie, we got it right at the same time. I keep forgetting that there's a bit of a delay there. Um, yeah, any, anyone in my stream, please go check out Kai's channel. Um, I, I love your Hades sure plays, uh, dated. let's plays. They're so Why fun. Go take another look. All right, what were we even doing here? Um, uh, 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 Hather? Hather? Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Arya Starfire, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so, I'm so excited. Thank you, everybody. We're, we're doing puzzles right now, which is extra on the spot. Um... Yeah, only nine away from affiliate. We're getting there. I'm get I'm getting close. Um, I'm gonna have some fun emotes that I'm one. working on. What's the deal with the tiara? No clue. The princess never wore a tiara in any of the drawings Marianne did with us. Starfire, Arya Starfire, thank you for the follow. Okay. Do we need to use the book for this one? You need help? Yeah, I'm stuck. Any How idea? was your stream, Kai? I'm trying to make sense of the castle on the bottom left corner. Well, it's like we were saying. The gold lady lived in one, so it probably represents Marianne's childhood home. Let's you let's hear. Help? Yeah, I'm stuck. Any ideas? It's so much fun. What were you playing? Finished Bioshock 1. Awesome. Awesome. She ran away to Alaska. That's dedication. Yeah, no kidding. I really need to play Any the help? early Bioshock yeah, games. I'm stuck. Any ideas? All right, let's see. Um, I want to get all the clues so then we can just piece this together really quick. Hmm. A clock. What do you think this is about? She had that watchmaking job in Juno, right? So that was probably right before she moved to Delos. Okay, so the timeline, so it's going to be childhood. Um, the house is going to be last. This is before she moved to Alaska. And then the bear, I, I assume, is going to be in the middle. You need help? Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm not sure what Any this ideas? represents at the top, the um, the flowers. What's up with the salmonberry flowers? I think those probably represent the commune she stayed at after she moved out. You okay. need help? And then the last yeah, one. Yeah, I'm stuck. Any ideas? Uh, the dinner party. What's the deal with this picture of the princess eating dinner with her animal buddies? Well, the beaver is Eddie's mother, and the bear is Sam. And we know she met Sam and Carol after she moved to Delos. So... Okay. So it sounds like... That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are some sort of clock? This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. This is the princess's hand. Why is nothing happening? Almost, but not quite. Uh, the story and gameplay is so fun. I really need to play it. Like, I really enjoyed Infinite. I just got into that series pretty late. 
loved Bioshock 1 and Infinite, but 2 was hard for you to get into. 2 got you good. Being the father going after your daughter, or fake father going after your fake daughter, but still hit you. Yeah. What if I switch these two? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and there the old beaver. That wasn't too bad. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's laws. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. The princess is lost. Once upon a time in an ancient deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She made it through the woods and to that house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life, a splendid tiara. She lost almost everything in her desperate flight to the ma from the Mad Hatter. The trees lore the rucksack from her back and, the shre and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin. But through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it to fall from her arms and break. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window, where the sun would catch on its surface and shine and wink. The princess could stare for hours at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and rubbing her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. And then she would pick it up, place it on her head, walk in the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night she would place it un upon its pillow, give it a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way, she would pause and glance back to make sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it, but she knew it was safest on the pillow while she slept. One night, the princess woke to a raging storm. The wind howled against the walls, rattling the, w the windows to their panes. Uh, fearing a gust might burst open a window, she blew uh, and blow the tiara to the ground. She plucked it from its pillow and brought it to bed with her. All through the night, she held the tiara close, and in the morning, she woke to find herself still cradling it. The storm had passed, and the princess relaxed. The, uh, the, day, the, the day was the same as any other, though she perhaps gave the tiara uh, uh, an even more thorough cleaning, grateful as she was that nothing had gone wrong. That night, she placed the tiara upon its pillow, gave it a quick kiss, and went to bed, pausing on her way to be sure it was still there. Also, I'm, I'm missing so much chat. Oh, man. Kyra, you're going to lurk? No problem. Thank you so much again for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, couples cosplay doing Booker and Elizabeth without playing the full game. Oh, no. <laughs> also, hello, Marles. Yeah. Yeah, this game. It has that impact. Okay, did I? Oh. In the morning, she woke and sensed immediately that something was wrong. In the living room, the tiara lay upon the ground, broken, dull, and faded. Uh, nothing else in the room was changed. The pillow was exactly where she had uh, had left it. The pillow was closed, or the window was closed, and there had been no storm, no wind, no sign that anything that um, anything at all could have gone amiss, only a broken tiara. Mute upon the ground, she picked it up and held it in her arms with a guttural cry, but through she tried to fix and polish it, it was gone, beyond repair, and with no shine left. The princess held the tiara th through the day and through the next night, sitting in the same spot at the window where she used to polish it. When the sun rose, she looked outside, and her gaze fixed upon a sapling, and she remembered how the sapling had survived the winter, clinging to life despite the frozen, unforgiving earth. Without a word, she went and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling, and as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer... A truly a princess in a tiara 
in a beautiful gown, but a, but a wan woman, a, alone deep in ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. Yeah, this is so dramatic. The princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God. It makes sense now. Yeah. She got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. Should she bury a real tiara? Because the twins could have used that. <laughs> and then she made her way to Delos Crossing. Where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him, and then he was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on, but when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. The curiosity is unreal. Oh my gosh. This, this okay, is... Okay, so how do we open it? Before we open this, like, I mean, we have the symbols, so we're ready to go. I am so impressed with this game. Every single thing that we have read, I feel like was important. And, like, when when I'm playing, like, Horizon Zero Dawn, right, I was starting to dabble into reading aloud on stream. Um, <laughs> hey, Garlic, welcome back. Um, um but yeah, in, when I was playing Horizon, like I was tr trying to read stuff aloud and like get more comfortable doing that because because I find that really challenging, right? Um, but everything that I was reading didn't feel worth the effort because like some of the stuff was interesting and it was like cool to gloss through it, right? But everything here feels really important to the story. Like in Horizon, it was kind of like world building, you know, like having like little bits of information, like it was kind of cool to know. But this stuff, it feels like. If you don't read it, you're you're really missing out. And I I like I'm just I'm just so impressed with this game. They really they really did their homework and they put time into it. All right, so we've got it's red, orange, yellow. So it's going to be this L O E. All right. Should be easy enough. L. Oh, oh, I see. L E O. Got it. Why don't we just break this open? There's no. a crowbar right downstairs. No. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what Tyler. all this means. I'm so done with her riddles. There we go. Yes. Oh shit. The lights Whoa. all changed. Did it just get darker in here? That was cool. Allison and Ollie. Another thing that I really like about this game is that they never dead name Tyler. Um, when when Tyler was a kid, they used the chosen name Ollie, but they never use whatever Tyler's dead name or um, yeah. Uh, is I, I really appreciate that. Ollie. Yeah, their she, mom built all this. This is noticed. wild. Dear Allison and Ollie, we write stories to understand and be understood, but what is a good story without a first act? 
I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? We're going to go check out that tree. Oh, and it's Heather. I'm sorry. I, can, I, I can't read. <laughs> I, I said something else. I, like, thought that was an L. <laughs> if I ever mispronounce anybody's name in chat, please just, like, please, please tell me. <laughs> I'm terrible with that stuff. Leo Ronan. No worries. Okay, thank you. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... Even if it's hard. Man, can you imagine if all of this had gotten burned? There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. We've got to check out that tree. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake. Which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... And yeah, she did leave that letter for them. Um... Man, so there's, there's like... I wonder if this is to get the rest of the collectibles. I kind of think that it probably is. How many are there? One, two, three, four... And there's exactly four left. Or maybe there's just three. One, two. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story. Huh? Uh. Was it this one? Her eggs, fruit, nuts, flour, and the cake. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. And then the last one was a... Uh... Nuts? Which I guess is this one. Did they steal candy? No. Maybe not. What if they took some spoons? They didn't take the spoons. Or not. Let's see. The flowers and pan plants look like how Rapunzel paints. Yeah. Um, I'm a little confused by this one because we've we've got everything except for the nuts, and that's just like not even an option. We can try this. Hmm. Didn't they take some of the princess's clothes? I don't think Maybe so. Maybe not. But 
What if they took some spoons? Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. That's why I'm, I'm confused. Hmm. No. They didn't, didn't they take some? Actually, I'm not sure. Wait. Let's check one more time. So there's this one. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. On the wrong one. Okay. It was not much at first, only a, fruit, a few fruits, nuts, and eggs. So I have to put the flower back, probably. Crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess. Maybe not. But I still don't see nuts. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Hmm. Am I missing something? It says at first maybe more. <laughs> Damn it, garlic. <laughs> Mark and Dave aren't even here. <laughs> Is Mark still streaming? Oh man, I, I hope he's doing okay. Oh, there's another Oh, we, we did this one. This one isn't. He is? Oh my god. Man, I want to get this. What if we do everything? Hmm. Did, what if they took some spoons? Did they steal candy? Did they take all of her shit? They never mentioned the clothes at what? any point. They didn't mention the candy at oh, any no. point. Hmm. Wait. I feel like I must just be missing something. <laughs> Just take everything. <laughs> Stole all the food I had. I will starve before the end. Hatch to open a beep. And I don't think there were any other others with that symbol. They robbed her blind. Apparently, apparently not, because we tried taking everything. It said small items, so maybe the spoon is right. The yeah, because I I picked that one the first. And the two thieves. What if they took some spoons? Because this was my first guess, right? But it would have it would have clicked. It would have been like, oh yeah, maybe we can. That's a good good point. Maybe. I think this part is loot. is optional. The princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake. What? Oh, drew the original. The princess and the two thieves. So what about? I was wondering if visually there is just something here. It didn't look like I could highlight Allison. Only a few fruits and nuts and eggs.
Yeah. Which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Or not. Or not. This one's weird. I feel like I'm missing something. The crafty goblins look. Because here it says, until she no until the day she noticed food and small items were disappearing from her house, the thieves went on and on until the day her last cake, which had been made with the last of her eggs, the last of her fruit, and the last of her nuts, and the last of her flour, and well, the cake was stolen too. Oh, it's from the oh, I the see. Thieves. I get it. It's the I opposite. The or not. Maybe not. So it's everything except mm. what if the stuff that spoons? she used to make the cake. Did they steal candy? Um, the pictures under the cake. Yeah, you'd think, but we tried that. Actually, I'm not sure. Or not. Oh, maybe it's just maybe not the flower. The princess's fruit? I'm pretty sure there it is. is. All right, you just don't need That's the flower. It. All right. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one we day did it, it just chat. disappeared. We worked together. We did it. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. That's cute. Just like a little extra bit. It's not collectibles, so I'm 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 less interested. I thought it was going to be the rest of these. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I kind of want to I kind of want to keep going though. Like that was that was cool. That was that was cute, but if 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 it's more just scrutinizing the stories, I You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Listen, Allie, I don't need your judgment here, Allison. <laughs> um Should we do one more? What do you what what do you think, chat? I kind of want to get going. I think I want to get going. Had all this sass from Allison, and now I'm like on the fence. We're we're going. We're going. We're going. Either way, <laughs> we're going. I'm ready for this to be over. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I that might be something that I go back to and and do uh, on my own at some point because it it seems interesting, but I feel like it's less interesting on stream anyways, and like. I, I want to know what's going on here. Oh, this was the where the um, the baby was buried. This right. is the spot. I can't believe he's been down there this whole time. We we played compass and north star here. I wish she would have just told us. She tried to tell us, or she lied to us. I'd say she tried to tell us. She tried to tell us. In her own Marianne kind of way. The stories. Yeah. What are you thinking? I would be overwhelmed, for sure. And we just found out we have a brother, and at the same time that we'll never get to meet him. It's a lot to process. Poor Marianne. Come on. Let's keep going. Everybody in this game has had a rough time, like had a rough childhood, a rough upbringing, like no one has had it easy. And I'm, I'm really curious about Michael because he so even mentioned that he went through something really um, that really shaped him back in 2011. And and now that they've mentioned that, I'm very curious about what it is. Yeah, and I'm I'm glad that that we've been picking uh, picking well, so that they're strengthening their their uh, relationship. Almost. 
گفت Tom Vecchi is our father? You guys called it! It had to be. You got it! Didn't, know, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. Holy cow! Now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. Paladin, you, you got are. it! Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Yeah, he was acting weird. And he was also just like her boss, which is extra weird. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> we looked away for a second. We, uh, we just found out that Tom is their dad, who is the, uh, the store owner, storekeeper. Don't blame Marianne for going in high when she had to see him every day. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted. We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. I hate him. I hate him so much. Yes, Allie, I hate him. Fuck this guy, that's right, Paladin. <sighs> you guys. Alright. Um. You let her drown. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Oh, I love that. I love that when, when you can uh, talk to Tyler during these. Sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Allie. I'd rather not think about it. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. This guy is full of excuses. This whole thing was gonna blow up in my face. I had to do something. Sir, we're gonna ensure it blows up in your face. He's not even the least bit sorry for what he did. He 
could have seriously hurt you. Yeah. He's yeah, yeah, he is a coward. <laughs> you haven't been here that long, but you hate this man. Wish you could fist fight. I'm right there with you, Heather. Um What should we do now? So what do we do now? We tell him he's gotta fix the mess he made. One way or another. Um You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. Oh, we've already texted her. Tessa already knows, Tom. Yeah, the, the twins are telepathic to each other. That's, that's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? I... but she... she never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. What? <laughs> And she'd been so many places and done so many things. That was a yeah, weird first thing I'd to start go. with. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary and me died. Whoa, what? Are you kidding? He's just going to try to blackmail us now? I was worried about your mother. You guys, this just keeps going. This just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Yeah, we're getting everybody's perspective. You're right, Pyro.
What? So his perspective was that she was never gonna hurt hurt them? No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Tyler. Christ. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the yeah. fuck alone. Yeah, and no kidding, Heather. Back. You okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head. And you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. Is her memory going to be warped now? Allie, do you mean um, Tom's version? Yeah, poor Allison. And like, all right, so let's keep in mind that when Tyler went to the barn, Marianne did hold a gun to him. It wasn't like he was spooked because she was holding one. She pointed it at him in the barn. You don't think their mom was going to kill him? It looks like we're about to get our answer. Or we're going to pick, which might be worse. Oh, they're going to make us pick. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. 
Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Oh, chat. I guess what do you, it's possible. What do you think? If you have any votes, Fuck. throw them in. I, I don't know. And we're never going to know the truth, are we? Or maybe they won't it's let the us pick. You walk away from something. That's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Got chills. All right, they are gonna let us pick. Oh my god. I'm going to kill you. Fuck you guys. All right, does anyone anyone have any uh anything they want to toss in the ring? I know garlic you're thinking it's uh you're thinking it's Tom's version. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm going to kill you. Fuck. The other way we can look at it is, um, I feel like your input won't be solid because you haven't been here long. I mean, you're still welcome to throw in, throw in your opinion. Um... If you, no, I mean, like, so, it's, this was what we were presented with first, right? This was that their, their mother tried to kill them, um, and, and now we're just getting here. So, everything we've seen so far is that she loved her kids, except for the, um, the, how she didn't, approve of Tyler's transition. She was really struggling with that. Uh, Any time that he mentioned cutting his hair, she got really upset. Um, and, and we know that she was off of her medication and she was spiraling at this point. She knew that um, she knew that uh, uh, child services had been called. You don't think she would kill him, I believe. His fear was real, but she wouldn't hurt him. Everything you've seen so far is that she loved her kids. Struggling isn't uh, the same as disapproving. She was trying to learn. We did find that book in her room um, of, like, what was it, Raising a Transgendered Child. Um, do we have any other reason for her to have a shotgun at that moment? Uh, just that she... Uh, was angry with Tom when she was in the shed. I, I'm, I'm thinking if she was off her med, she might not have been in the right mind. Yeah, like she was. This woman was clearly having some sort of some sort of issue. Um, I, I think I'm gonna. Which, I'm trying to think of which one Allison would struggle with least. And I, that might be Tom's version. It seems like she already was kind of leaning towards believing that one. We also don't know why she was in the shed with the gun. Yeah. You can really go either way. And I, I appreciate that so much. So I don't know how many of you have played Life is Strange. I'm not going to spoil it. You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna go with Tom's version. Neither option feels good. Also, never trust the words of a manipulator. Fuck Pyro. Ah! <laughs>
It might be worse for her if she's stabbed when she wasn't threatening Tyler. That's true. Oh, Pyro, you might have convinced me. Fuck. Like, do we want to take the word of this guy who has been not present at all and has just clearly been a dick? You know what? Ah! I'm going to kill you! I'm going Fuck it. to kill you! Py Pyro, you have convinced me. I'm going to kill you! To kill you. I'm going to kill you. No, don't do this. Mom, no. Allison. This isn't what I feel I feel gross about Mom either option. Like... couldn't face being separated from her kids again. And the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. I know it in my heart. I saved you. I saved us. I know. You did the right thing. You want to go back inside? They sure do, Paladin. Yeah. I... I think that would be easier to make peace with, personally. Yeah, that was really difficult. There's no right answer with don't nod. Yeah. Yeah, that was wild. My God, hey, I know that there's probably only 15 minutes of this game left, but I, I have to pee. I have to pee so bad. I'll be right back. I've returned. Yeah, bio break. <laughs> Catch up on chat for a second. I think this is easier on Allison for sure. I agree. Um, this game was too much. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, you're going to try out Hades tonight. Oh, man. Um, if you stream that, definitely I, I want to know because I love Hades. Uh, I, yeah, you know, like that might be something that I that I try out tomorrow um, is just loading up the very last chapter and like playing the other ending. But we might even have time to do that tonight if if we if this is uh, the end. What I just found downstairs. Because I'd I'd really like to see the difference. What do you think? Will it have aged well or just gone bad? Allie, you're tempted to play uh, this game or Hades? Cheers, I guess. <laughs> I 
Probably not going to be streaming it, mostly doing art that story. with communities. Uh, like, community did. games on Thursday is cool. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I could never get that lonely. Yeah, Pyro is working on some, some cool map ink projects. Listen, with We've got a couple of artists on, in the chat. It got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. What? What? You want to stop using the voice? I just don't trust it. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. You and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... Us. Fantasy cartography mostly. Very cool. Yeah. The mad hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo. He plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. You guys, what a sad story. Just front to back. Absolutely gut-wrenching. The entire thing. Except for Michael. He was the one shining star in this game. Best boy, Michael. I'm glad that this didn't go a supernatural route, because I was wondering if it would when we had those like visions of the scary monster, you know. But I'm I'm glad it didn't go that way. Six months later. <sighs> oh my god, he shaved his head! Last look. I'm good to go. Yeah, I liked his other hair better, but that's okay. He looks a little bit like, uh, I forget the name of the hey, actor, but Jesse Pinkman. Hey, <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. 
How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. I'm so proud of her. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Aww. I'm so glad that they have, like, a, a, a good relationship now. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fix It. There's like mold everywhere. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be mold or just like dirt, but it looks like mold on the walls and stuff. <laughs> hmm. That's cute. Hey goblins, word in the town is you finally sold the house. I came by tonight to help you fix what needs to be fixed, but there was nobody home. Are you gone already? Things change so fast these days. Anyways, I know uh, where to find you know where to find me if you want me to fix things. If you're still in town, I mean. It's getting late and I'm pretty tired. Oh, and I'm sorry for acting like a stupid ass. I am like the stupid ass I am. Everywhere I look, I think about what used to be. I've been trying to do better, but I think it might be too late for an old bear like me. Not sure this will reach you. It's getting late. Call me if you're still around. Be safe, Sam. P.S. I wish it was easy to fix. I wish it was as easy to fix everything as a boat. Yeah, we're gonna take our pictures. Yeah, Sam Sam is just alone now, which is kind of sad. Man, seeing it empty is so weird. But at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. They need a fresh start, that's for sure. That's cool. It won't let me take it. Michael and Tyler are texting! Must be relieved to finally be done with that place. No doubt, if traffic's not bad, I should be back at our place by 4 p.m. Haha, <laughs> traffic in Delos. If only, uh, only if the mailbox bandit escaped. Hey, I'm making that biscuit thing you like. Damn, on my way. I'll probably be, uh, I'll probably take out some fire hydrants and stop signs. Don't die, I'll keep it warm. See you in a few. 
Aww. They, they have a place together? What was that? Go outside in a minute. I wonder if Allie would have moved in with Michael if Tyler didn't. Because they were talking about getting a place together. <laughs> I loved the raccoon story. I think that was was everything around here. I didn't see anything else. Uh, what's this? Book cover games is rating with a party of seven. Oh my gosh, welcome in. It's so late. Did you finish it? Did you finish Gothic? Ali, thank you for the for doing the shout out for me. We are just about wrapping up this game. It has been an absolutely wild ride. <laughs> Imagine that waving cat is haggard and beat down. Oh no. <laughs> are you doing all right? Are you Sucks hanging in there? Thomas Anthony Becky. There's two to three hours left. Oh, Mark. I am so sorry. You're gonna. It's gonna be so so good when you finish that game. And then and then it's gonna be Ori. Everything's gonna be better. Artificial Allen, hello, welcome in. You guys, we've been on an emotional roller coaster tonight. I like. I'm still just taking in this game, uh, and everything that has happened. It it. Um. If you are just just joining us and you haven't seen this game before and you like the Life is Strange games, I can't recommend strongly enough that you should go go play this. Um, um, planning on playing the medium. Uh, Lucas, I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure what that is. Garlic, what did you say? Good on the dragons. The ice dragon. The ice dragon is weak to ice? Wait, what? <laughs> I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie's. Yeah, I highly recommend this game, to be honest. I, I was really blown away by it. Um, it addresses... Um, all of the the gender issues uh, very well. Um, I'm, I've just been really surprised. You're going to go to bed. Um, hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, let's catch up sometime soon. Absolutely, Pyro. Thank you so much um, for for the raid earlier. I it was I was so excited to find find your channel. Um, we'll definitely catch up. It's a very good adventure game that is taking place in your hometown. Oh, that's really cool. I will definitely look it up. Yeah, I'm always looking for fun adventure games. Aw, dreamy sigh. Yeah, and if anybody's looking for uh, for a, an awesome art stream, definitely check out Pyro. Um, we have so many, so many amazing people in the chat. Hey, Marcus, how is your night going? We're just finishing up this game. I've just been raving about it constantly. All right, where are we supposed to go? I've been so distracted. I hope the next goblin family bakes a lot of sand pies in this. Uh, did I not pick something up that I need to? It's going. Did we discover anything new? We're just about... Oh, here we go. Uh, we're just about done with the game, actually. So we've discovered a lot. Um, it has been a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Ali, it's, that's, it's real. There have been so many, like, times where the game, like, brought us down to 
to such a such a low and such a tense state um and then <laughs> michael just gave us like such heartwarming such a heartwarming like parallel it was oh my god michael is the best person in this whole game hands down what am i missing do i i'm pretty sure i've got a uh Thought I had like a a to do list somewhere. I did. I picked that up. I did the note. Do I need to take out the trash? No. I'm gonna go back outside. Oh, I have to leave the keys. Okay, leave the house for good. Are right, I'm ready? It's time. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. And Lucas, it was made uh, globally, globally known, so you recommend it. I'll definitely check it out. So what did you miss? You're going to bed, Mark. Please um, have, have a great night. Uh, take it easy. I, I hope that your, uh, your hey, dreams are Aaron, not filled with Gothic Ty. too. Tyler Ryan? <laughs> I, uh, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> uh, so, so Marcus, um... I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles this morning I was out on the porch staring at the fog and my mother she she just tumbled right out of me but it was okay it actually felt good to remember Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Wow. Yeah, Allie, I am right there with you. I absolutely loved this game. Yeah, I'm going to check out the medium for sure. Um, thank you for the recommendation. I, I love getting game recommendations. Um, holy shit, this game, you guys. Um, Marcus, it's hard to hard to summarize everything that, that happened in this last chapter, but, but I will say that we got the... Um, we we found out who their who their father is, and we got to choose um, how we remembered um, what happened to their mother. It, and the game did an amazing job of letting us pick pick those choices in a way that really felt impactful, and both felt equally valid. Because um, that's something that I don't like when there's like a, when there's an ending that feels like the right ending, you know. And this one, I, I really do feel like it could have gone ever, either way. Um, and man, and thank you so much, Paladin and Ali and Garlic and and all y'all who who really like watched through this entire game with me. It's really cool to to have you along for the ride with me, and and um, especially everybody else who joined along the way. This has been an adventure. I definitely want to play more games like this on my stream this is this is kind of what i want my my channel to be like a focus on like i'll play other stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna be a variety streamer i suppose but these kind of narrative games are my my jam hey brooks we we just finished the game oh my gosh 
I still can't get over that uh, the panic attack scene with the with the app. So for those of you who weren't here, there's there's one part of the game where um, Allison has a panic attack and she runs outside and she tries to control her breathing and then you as the player are given control over her breathing. Um, yeah, and and yeah, it was so good and it, it really it felt really good. Oh no, Brooks, no, no worries. No, it's all good. We're just uh we're just in the in the wrap up. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel bad for coming in. <laughs> um, yeah, what an adventure. My god. I definitely want to check out uh, Twin Mirror now, um, which was released at a very similar time frame to this game. Um, and I was thinking I was going to go back and watch the other ending right now, but I think that I think I, I will do that, but I think I might do it off stream because I think you guys should play this. And if you want to, I, I, I don't want to, um, uh, I don't want to reveal everything, right? Like if you guys have interest in playing it, you would love to see Twin Mirror. <laughs> see you on the medium. I, yeah, I will. I will look it up for sure. What's Twin Mirror about? It's it. I think it's a murder mystery. It's a little bit more detective work than this one. Um, it didn't have as good reviews on IGN, but I mean, if it's even half as good as this one, I think it's it's worth playing. Dark Washu, thank you so much for the follow. And thank you to everyone else who followed tonight. This this has been been such a great stream. I've I've been so excited to be here. Heather, Bastina, and Aria Starfire, thank you so much. And thank you, Dark Wasu. Washu. We're really close to um to hitting affiliate. We're we're not far. Might do that in the next week or so. That would be that would be sweet. Um I'm going to start putting in, like, uh, point rewards. That's going to be really fun. Um, I want to make, like, emotes and stuff really cheap so that people can just, like, spam emotes um, uh, that I've been working on. I've also not heard of Twin Mirror until very recently. Yeah, they have been dropping the ball on marketing. I, I think you're right. Like, they've had several... Uh, games that came out within the last year and I never even heard of them and I'm a huge Life is Strange fan so it seems weird that I wouldn't have heard of it um, but eh, yeah um, what a ride I feel like what I what I need after this is to just like stare at the ceiling blankly for like 45 minutes and then go to sleep and just sort of like like think about this. I I think the pacing of the game was very good. It did feel a little short. Each episode I think ran us about 3 hours about three to maybe four um but it didn't feel too short it felt like it was a, a the right amount of time to fully deliver the story that they wanted to convey if they had added in another chapter even though that might have felt better it, i think it would have been um too much fluff they could have very easily put in too much fluff with this game. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad that you all enjoyed it. Um, 
Oh, Harvey, you want to go? Oh, we still have to look at our choices. Allison was grateful they completed Marianne's puzzle. We did complete the puzzle. 17% forced the chest open. Allison felt that standing by the twins' memory was the right thing. 38% believed in the twins' memory. Wow, the majority of people went for Tom's testimony. That's a little surprising, almost. I guess maybe it's because Allison kind of leans on it there. You were sad to hear that there were uh, there was three chapters, but it, it really worked. I think it did. Uh, I was also sad. I'm like, oh, really? It's only three chapters, and the first one is free? Uh, so, like, you know, how, how much content is there in those last two chapters? But, yeah, I think it would have been uh, too much too much fluff. Harvey, what's going on, buddy? He's just sitting under my desk and crying. Come here. Come here, bud. Hey, boy. He's like, this is so much worse. This is so much worse. <laughs> I'm gonna come say say good night. Says please stop. All right. The twins trusted their bond and kept their voice. We held on to our voice. Eddie was relieved that Allison accepted responsibility in the murder. Thirty-three percent did not confess the truth. <laughs> that meow. <laughs> Yeah, they put a lot of story in those chapters, I agree. And it was interesting, because it, it was almost like double... The, it was like the same story twice, right? Because we were getting each perspective. And I think that, too, if, if there had been another chapter, that may have made it feel too long, because it's just more of the same content twice in a row. Sam felt understood by Allison. We did listen to Sam's story. Sam was confronted with his addiction. That would have been a really interesting route to take as well. Harvey is now playing with a twist tie on the floor. I just have to make sure he doesn't eat it. Michael felt closer to Tyler. 68% kissed Michael. Yeah! <laughs> no regrets. That was, that was maybe my favorite part of the game. Just because of how stark of a contrast it was against the like emotional turmoil that I was feeling otherwise. Yeah, Harvey's doing a good job. And that's it. That's all of our all of our stuff. That should be a hundred, right? Who would say no? I guess if you like seriously shipped Al Allison and Michael. Okay. I think that's it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. You guys, you guys could have been anywhere tonight and you chose to hang out with me. And that, that really means a lot. Um, I had an absolute blast playing this game. Uh, I definitely want to give somebody a raid. Uh, thank you, Pyro and um, Pyro and Kai and Book Club for the for the raids earlier. And thank you for all the new follows tonight. You're so welcome, Paladin. I was happy to do it. Lucas, thanks for hanging. Thanks for hanging out. Allie and Garlic. Thank you very much. Let's see who is on. <laughs>